And I'm Dan Cummings, and we have breaking news this hour about the death of well-known Syracuse University football star Chris Gedney, who played nearly a decade in the NFL before taking his own life last March at the age of 47. Gedney's widow is now sharing results of his autopsy with News Channel 9. Sports Director Stephen Fonte talking with Seely Gedney just a short time ago. Steve, what have you learned? All right, Dan, so the autopsy was conducted at Boston University. The VA Concussion Legacy Foundation concluded that at the time of his death, Chris was suffering from stage two CTE. Now, in addition to the findings, we did receive this statement from Seely Gedney, Chris's widow, just a short time ago. She says, quote, he is loved and missed by all that knew him. His legacy of kindness, compassion, and courage will live on. She goes on to say, his children and I appreciate the incredible outpouring of love and support that we have experienced over the past 15 months. Now, the autopsy, as I said, was performed by Dr. Ann McKee, a neuropathologist in neurodegenerative disease at Boston University. The conclusive results show stage two CTE. There are four stages of the disease. At stage two, individuals suffer from depression, mood swings, and short-term memory loss, among other things, as well as suicidal thoughts. Chris was a star at Liverpool High School before becoming an All-American tight end at Syracuse. He went on to play seven years in the NFL for the Chicago Bears and Arizona Cardinals. Now, Chris took his own life almost 15 months ago. We're just now getting these results. The reason for that, Dan, is that Boston University has so many of these donations and similar autopsies that they've needed to conduct. It takes this long to mm. get the results. So it gives you an idea of how serious an issue CTE is and just how, man, how many families, rather, that this has impacted. Yeah, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE. And you know, Steve, it's been over three years now since the NFL first admitted publicly there is a link between their sport and this disease. Serious stuff. You'll be back at four with more, I know. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that news with us off the top of the broadcast.